So we're in uh, Kings Road. This is habitat on the Kings Road near the near the um, near the town hall where the queues on cinema and uh, it's no longer owned by the original owners it's been uh, it's gone bust a couple of times and there's a new owner and uh, if um, you've bought goods and have a contract you've got seven years to go back to the shop to have it remedied and fixed if it's broke but if it's meant to last longer than that you've got a right to go to the manufacturers to um, have it uh, repaired but uh, when I went in here two weeks ago uh, Paul, <laughs> the deputy manager um, just told me to get out, he just said that they took over two years ago and they're not honouring any contracts from the previous uh, owners so I've um, checked that uh, that's not true unless it goes really bankrupt and the receivers come in and then dispose of it but if it was just bought as a going concern they still have to honour their contracts so if uh, he's lied made a mistake <laughs> Because he's been doing, saying this to everybody that's come in here, thinking they uh, can get their things fixed within the seven years under the sale of Goods Act 1977, and he's turning everyone away. But luckily, uh, I spoke to another manager as I left, and he generously offered to have it fixed in Italy. And uh, but unfortunately, I made the mistake of contacting the CEO of the new company, which I can't remember. And he got Linda, his uh, head of uh, consumer uh, sales with Habitat, to have me come all this way in here to waste three hours of my life. I'm 73 now, dying away here, to come and pick it up. <laughs> so here it is. Pick up these two parts that have come unwelded. You see the welding's broken. Just needs rewelding. So Linda insisted I come and pick it up, take it home, and then she's going to send her repair company out to see if they can fix it. They may not have a welding torch, and uh, fix it if they can. So uh, I was shocked that they wouldn't uh, come in here and check it themselves without me having to come and pick it up. Um, and decide if they could fix it or not and then fix it and then uh, I'd come back and it would be picking it up now fixed. So uh, very poor customer service and it may be fraud <laughs> if they've lied to me and uh, they're in breach of contract not uh, sending it to uh, Italy to be repaired. <laughs> But if they repair it here, then uh, I, I won't be able to sue very much. But uh, you, you get all your uh, damages, consequential losses, all the time you've lost, from the time they agree to do something and then they don't do it. Because uh, you know, it's a contract agreeing to send it to Italy to be rewelded. So I think it was Paul got himself upset when I criticised this behaviour to me. The worst customer service that I've ever experienced uh, by anyone. Just nasty, nasty man kicking me out, uh, showing no goodwill to a past customer. So they've lost my goodwill and if they don't fix it, uh, which is what I'm expecting is them to say they can't fix it, um, I'm going to start a, a hashtag on uh, uh, um, uh, the Twitter tweets uh, so everyone else can uh, bad mouth the customer services they've suffered from Habitat to stop people trusting them forever honouring contracts let alone their own or past contracts in the future and just to boycott them and uh, this video is going on YouTube and uh, I've found that when I go to a Tatler party you'll see all my parties I go to uh, when, I, when you search for Tatler all their links come up but my video comes up on the first page, so hopefully 
any customers checking out the habitat. It's a new owner, they're playing hardball and they may be deceiving uh, past customers of habitat that they're no longer responsible for the contracts we took out with the previous owners. So I'll be contacting the receivers and, uh, and checking what type of uh, takeover it was. And uh, so that'll be in the next episode. So bye bye. Well, here I am. <laughs> Have a look at me. Can you see me? So Huey, consumer advocate. <laughs> Don't take bullshit from them. <laughs>